In this segment, we'll look at how construction templates can help us keep our model current as we are working through the design of our model. I have two templates in this model, an upper and a base. And what I've done here is I have each template has an unfinished end as well as a finished end. And the finished end will use the millwork material. I've also set my reveals so that I'm flush on the top, flush on the bottom, and a one and a half millimeter reveal on each side with a three millimeter reveal in between doors or doors and drawer fronts. In my base cabinet, basically the same thing except I have an eight millimeter reveal on the top so that my countertop has good clearance. Okay, let's go ahead and select all of our cabinets and apply the profile changes. And this time I have my parameters all set to copy. If you have templates in your model since the development of your model, you can feel comfortable that uh, because your model emulates your templates, you can copy all of the parts. Down in the right hand corner again, showing you the progress. Okay. First thing that we're going to notice is that our base cabinets are all using finished ends while our upper cabinets are all using unfinished ends. Let's go ahead and start going through each cabinet and fixing the model. This cabinet will want finished ends on both sides. And while we're doing that, Cabinet Sense has gone back to the template and said, oh, well a finished end has to have millwork. And if the reveals were different, it would have changed the reveals as well. It also will check all of your machining. And if your machining for a finished end is different than the machining for an unfinished end, that changes as well. This cabinet, we may decide that we just want a finished end on the left. And let's put finished on both sides for this one. And the reverse, obviously, is true for our bases. We can use an unfinished end on the right. And this cabinet will use unfinished on both. Okay, uh, and that's how templates can help you as you start designing. The nice thing is if you decide your reveals need to be changed, for example, let's say that on your base you want a larger reveal between your doors and your drawer fronts or your, you know, the vertical gap. Uh, let's just put a little bit of a bottom reveal on this one. Well, let's put a lot just so we can we can show you. Let's put a 5mm uh, reveal. Because I've changed the template, I now have to select the cabinets and proliferate, proliferate the cha uh, changes manually. And there we ha have our new gap. And that's uh, one way that you can continue to use construction templates through the life cycle of your model.